Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Santana and I've been sharing weekly updates on my weight loss journey with Ideal Protein and Ideal Protein Alternatives. So, without further ado, I'll give you this week's results. I'm actually filming this on a Tuesday. I normally weigh in on Mondays. Um, and then I film my weight loss update and I film a full day of eating. But yesterday we had like a crazy day. We got a new car and we had to go pick it up and everything. And I just, the day got away from me and I never filmed anything. So this update is on Tuesday, but I'll give you the results from, obviously when I weighed in, I did weigh in and measure yesterday. Um, and I, I weigh in once a week every Monday and I take my measurements every second Monday. That's just how I choose to do it. You can do it however you like it. But I just find it's better for me that way mentally. Okay, so yesterday was the end of week six and uh, the start of week seven. So I'm here to give you my week six weight loss update. Six weeks ago, I started out at 151.3 and yesterday I weighed in at 138.8. Woo! So uh, that is a total loss of 1.3 pounds this week. And I made it to the 130s, which is amazing. Um, for my measurements, as of uh, the last time I had measured, I had lost six point, or six and a half inches. Um, and then when I weighed, or measured yesterday, I was down another 3.25 inches. So that is a total of 9.75 inches down and 12 and a half pounds. So the uh, inches going down are great. I can see it, I can feel it. And uh, the scale is not moving quite as fast as I want it to, but it's moving in, in the right direction. So all good here. Uh, and as always, today I will take you through a full day of eating. By now, I think I've made like five or six of these videos and um, I've pretty much shown you all of the variety that I have. Um, but I'll keep doing them until somebody says that they're getting boring or repetitive whatever. So uh, as always, I've started my day with my 40 ounce bottle of water. Um, this was my first one and I just finished it. I like to drink four of these a day. And my morning supplements, I took those as well. And I am still working on a coffee with 30 mils of half and half and one packet of sweetener. It's cold now actually, but I'm about to make my breakfast and I'll just heat it up and finish it with my breakfast. Um, I pretty much every day for breakfast, now that I'm home um, from work, I'm, normally I'm a dental hygienist, and so uh, breakfast usually has to be quick for me, but right now, not working. So now that I'm home all day, um, I take the time to make what I showed in my um, video last week, I've showed it I've showed it a couple times now. Um, you can make, it's basically always the same recipe, you just make it in different variations. I like to make it in a breakfast loaf. I've made donuts. Today I think I'm gonna make it in cookie form, but it's uh, always essentially the same recipe with just flavors switched out or pans switched out. So I think that's what I'm gonna have for my breakfast today, some chocolate chip cookies, caramel chocolate chip cookies. I'll show you that when it's made. Okay, here is my breakfast. So I ended up not doing cookies. I just did the loaf, the mini loaf. It goes in a little mini loaf pan like that. And this is the same recipe as the donut recipe, the recipe I've showed on my channel a couple times. Um, but I used an ideal protein caramel chocolate mug cake for like the base of it this time. So it's really just any sort of packet that you want. Sometimes I use a scoop of protein powder. Sometimes I use this caramel chocolate mug cake. Sometimes I use like a drink mix, whatever. And then you add a teaspoon of 
baking powder, you add one egg, one teaspoon of olive oil, and two tablespoons of a Walden Farms product. So sometimes I use like the chocolate dip or the caramel dip or the chocolate syrup or the marshmallow dip, whatever you prefer, whatever flavor combo you want to make. And then I bake it at 350 for 10 minutes. I like to just undercook it slightly so like the center is still a little gooey. It's very, very good. Um, and I'm just working on my second bottle of water there and finishing up my coffee from earlier. I'll be back to show you what's for lunch. Okay, so just got back from a walk with my dogs and I'm gonna have something super simple for lunch because I just have some things that I'm doing around the house and I don't feel like doing anything too extravagant. So this Quest birthday cake bar is an idle protein alternative and it is a restricted and I'm gonna have this and I'm working on my third bottle of water as well and I've already taken my lunchtime supplement. Hey again, just showing you guys what I'm having for supper. I've showed this before. I also have a recipe video on how to make these mashed potatoes here. So this is uh, about six and a half ounces of extra lean ground turkey. I just fried it in the frying pan, seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder. And then this is about four cups of cauliflower, which I steamed in the microwave added a teaspoon of olive oil and my ideal salt and I mashed it up with my stick blender and uh, yeah I kind of just like mix this through together a little bit and eat it I think it tastes really good it's um, pretty plain but really simple it takes like 10 or 15 minutes to make which I am down for so yeah I am uh, just about to start my fourth bottle of water as well as take my supper time supplements and I'll be back to show you what I'm having for my last packet of the night. Hey guys, excuse my appearance because I've just, I don't know, quarantine hair. But I'm just about to have my last packet of the night. My dessert, an unrestricted ideal protein alternative. It's going to be a Built Bar Shocker. This is probably one of my favorite dessert packets to have. Um, this one's the banana chocolate cream fits protocol as an unrestricted um, I keep mine in the fridge but then I kind of let them cool down to uh, or warm up to room temperature before I eat them just because it's like I don't know it's a texture thing anyway so that will be my last meal of the day taking my supplements <laughs> One just flew onto the floor. Taking my nighttime supplements as well and just finishing up my last bottle of water. Um, it's a little earlier than I normally finish up, so if I do get snacky or feel like I want something, then I probably will have a Zevia, which I have also shown a couple times in my videos before. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching as usual. I'll be back next week with my week seven weight loss update so stay tuned for that give this video a like leave me a comment down below subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos this week there won't be a recipe video coming but i plan to hopefully post a video on how to choose idle protein alternative products um that's my plan so i should see you later that this week with that video and uh, other than that, have a great week, guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye.